Khalifa Koulibaly is the newest signing, Red Star Belgrade center forward. He last played for Nantes. He is currently uh, out of a contract, so a free agent. Uh, so he's familiar with uh, Osman Bakari, who he played with last season. Uh, but like I said, he comes over as a, as a free agent after being with Nantes for a number of years. I think it was four or five years. Uh, to solidify kind of the center forward position with Milan Pavkov gone to Saudi Arabia and with Ohiomi Wanfo being the only real center forward uh, left on the bench. We'll see what happens with him until the end of the transfer uh, deadline. Uh, but oh, he did score a goal on the weekend on Saturday. Um, he got the start. Uh, Milos Milovic played a lot of different players, about four or five players who haven't really played much. Um, and you know, he ended up scoring. He looked, for the most part, he looked, he looked good for, for someone who's played something like 17, 18 minutes. So, I mean, that's, that's the, um, that's the good part, but hopefully this means, this means more playing time for him. Again, I've, I've said it pretty openly. I would like him to stay with the club, uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, Khalifa Koulibaly doesn't really have an excellent goal, goal scoring record. It's about a goal every four matches, which is not that great for a center forward. Um, he signed a, a contract for one year plus one year, depending on, you know, how it goes. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But I mean, Pesic is clearly the starting center forward on the team right now. I question this move a little bit because again, the one goal, I mean, one goal pretty much every four matches, it's not really that good for a center forward. You're looking for something in the neighborhood of a goal every two, two and a half matches. That's very good. Um... We'll see what happens in terms of like his playing time. I have no doubt that he'll score goals in the domestic league if he if he does play. But you know, it, it's a much weaker league than French league. Oh, so he should be able to score. But it's more of what he can do on the like the Europa League, right? Like we're playing playing Monaco. If he plays, we're gonna you know we expect something from you. Um, and yeah, I think that the the goal scoring record isn't that great. Um, from what I've seen, he's he's good in the air. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see how this works out. Clearly, so a, clearly a, a number two striker. Like I said, Pesic is the number one. Okay, again, we'll see what happens. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's times where there's a formation shift and we go with like a three-five-two um, to where we can kind of play with two strikers and maybe Koulibaly and Pesic play up top and then we do some you know rotations. I think. Milojic played a three-five-two when he was when he was at Hammerby, so it's something that he's familiar with. Wouldn't be surprised if he tests it out at some point this season. Um, he has played the four-three-three at Malmo, so um, Kulibaly is pretty much a center forward. He doesn't cover any other positions. Tall, lanky player. Um, like I said, he's he's good in the air. So hopefully he provides us with. Um, good things in that term because you know Milan Popkov has gone you really have Milunovic who's good in the air uh and that's pretty much about it I can't think of it. everyone else is is fairly short and not that great so you have Milunovic you have Rodic who is actually I think he has the biggest vertical on the team believe it or not um so you have him as well and then if Koulibaly can get something done uh in these matches it'd be great um I think I think the matches leading up to Europa League are gonna be big with with him where he can kind of get his feet under him a little bit and see how the guys play and, and adjust to that. But like, I think, I think having Osman Bukhari is kind of a plus for him because he played with him last season. Uh, so there's that, they're familiar with each other. So I think that's always kind of, um, that's always good for, for a new player. And in terms of like the, the language adaptation, there's a lot of guys who, who speak French on the, in the club. So uh, it's easier than that. But like I said, I mean, if, if you look at it overall, I mean, you're not going to sign a guy as a backup center forward who scores a ton of goals and then he's going to be coming off the bench and demanding a high salary. So maybe this is the better way to go unless people were looking for Red Star to sign a striker who is going to start and have Pesic come off the bench. But Pesic has been really good, so I don't see how that would happen. Maybe this isn't that bad after all. And then you can kind of have Koulibaly and Ohi kind of going at it for, for that second... Um, uh, second center forward position. Oh, he can play a little bit on the wing as well. Not too much, but a little bit. Whereas Koulibaly, like I said, is a is a straight up, straight up center forward. So the newest member of Red Star Belgrade, uh, Khalifa Koulibaly. 
Uh, he joins the club technically as a free agent. Uh, his last contract was with Nantes and he spent about four, four, four and a half years there.